Welcome to Index Asia 2017, the International Maritime Defense Exhibition and Conference held this week in Singapore. This year is the biggest event to date with 230 exhibitors from 29 countries. For our day one video, we're focusing on the local industry as well as on the Republic of Singapore Navy. For Index 2017, we are introducing a new range called the Vanguard series. Uh, essentially what we have done is that for the frigate, the offshore patrol vessel, including the hydrographic ships that we have designed, uh, what happened is that because we are using the same hull form for these ships, and at the same time we try to put common equipment onto the platform, we believe that by doing this we introduce uh, savings to the customer, both in terms of acquisition of the uh, equipment because you reduce your cost for engineering, but more importantly, over time, your crew exposure, training, spares for this platform will be common. And from that perspective, you will then end up uh, with some cost savings. Uh, what we are looking at is what we call the Vanguard uh, 110 Frigate. It's a three-dimensional uh, warfare-capable platform. Uh, and as noted, it shares the same hull form and common equipment with the Vanguard 95 over here. Uh, There's actually an offshore uh, petrol vessel. Uh, we obviously have other ranges that is not on display, but depending on the need of the user, uh, we can have a hydro ship, we can have petrol vessels. This ship is new. We actually have benchmark on previous frigate that we have built to ensure that, of course, being a newer design, it will be uh, as efficient as we can uh, make her to be. Uh, and as I noted, for any Navy that has a need for a frigate, this frigate can be configured for, I dare say, most of the mission profile that they will have. And again, depending on the Navy need, other than permanent equipment and sensor that we fit on board the ship, we are also to put modular payload on board these vessels. Uh, it, it can range from, the, from uh, let's say, control of, uh, let's say, natural disaster, where maybe you have an oil spill, you want to do simple things like that, to maybe surveillance operations that you don't typically carry on board. So you can carry, say, for example, containers containing, let's say, uh, autonomous underwater vehicle or certain payload that you need for that specific operations. Yeah. What we have here is a, a different uh, series of uh, Venus 16 and a Venus 9 that I'm going to introduce to you. Now, this first two uh, uh, version that we have, uh, Venus 16 for mine countermeasure, both of them actually work in pair. Yeah? First one is uh, with a tot synthetic aperture sonar. This is used for mine detection and classification. Now, once you detect and classify the mine, you actually pass the information to the second uh, guy. We call it expandable mine disposal system. So it continues with the mine identification and mine neutralization. So basically, these two, these two versions of USV perform the whole process of mine countermeasure. The third one that we have here is uh, what we showcase here is the dip with a dipping sonar. So basically, you can use this to do uh, detection of submarine underwater yeah now we also you can see that we also uh, actually have an integrate can integrate with a remote weapon station in front and you can actually use this to do force protection mission the main benefit of using a manned uh, vessel for military application of course is you don't risk the human life in uh, this uh, war fighting uh, environment we are definitely working with a, a partner in terms of integrating a different uh, payload from different partners 
And uh, of course, we are looking for different uh, 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 potential customer that actually interested in this. Yeah. The Republic of Singapore Navy is also showcasing some of its systems. Let's check them out. I'm M.H.3 Vincent for the Russian Navy. What you can see here is the torpedo, lightweight torpedo used in the Singapore Navy used for anti-submarine anti warfare. It can be done for the surface craft and for the naval headquarters. And the spec of the, 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 the torpedo is for, can be for here. Hi, uh, I'm M.E.2 Ricky from the Republic of Singapore Navy. The aircraft you are seeing now is the uh, Skandar UAV. It is a small and uh, tactical UAV and uh, RSN deploys it uh, on board the missile combat. Yeah, it is equipped with uh, a day and a night camera uh, with an endurance uh, up to 20 hours. Yeah, and the uh, range for this aircraft right is uh, 100 kilometers. Uh, I'm Ricky from the Navy's uh, Changi Defense Squadron. Uh, currently, I'm introducing you is uh, the unmanned surface vessel for the RSN, which is totally unmanned. Uh, it can be deployed on board ship and can be deployed on uh, shore from the ground control station. Uh, currently, it's deployed as a force protection in the harbour. It's been used in the uh, Gulf of Aden for anti-piracy purpose. We bought it from the Rafael. Hi, I'm a member from the Naval Diving Unit. Okay. okay, so basically what you see here now is a combat craft medium, or we call it the CCM. Um, it's the latest addition to our fleet of uh, rigid hull inflatable boats, which we term as RIPS. Mm -hmm. All right, this uh, CCM is approximately 11 meters long. Okay, powered by two 400 HP uh, engines. Okay, it's designed for maritime security operations, carrying 15 troops okay, at speeds in excess of 40 knots. Yeah. So currently this craft is actually from France, made by Zodek Mupro. So the version of this is a Zodek Hurricane. Uh, good morning, uh, my name is Emi Tu Brian from the Republic of the Singapore Navy. Over here, we have what we call the Caster. This Caster is manufactured by ECA. Some people call it ECA. In the Navy, we use this on board the Bedok class My Hunters. Uh, the purpose of this uh, caster system is, uh, let's say we identify a contact that is of particular interest to us. So we will, what we'll do is we'll deploy this caster to go and investigate. Upon investigation, if we think that it needs to be detonated, we will go and deploy our charge field caster, which we call it a caster C, and we'll go and neutralize the, uh, the contact of interest. This is actually a remote operated vehicle underwater as a first responder for the navies during operation. This is actually rated at 300 meters. You can dive 300 meters to look at how integrity is checked. If there's a hole in the hull, you can look at it. It's a road entanglement in the propeller. You can actually send the device for a quick look before you make a decision whether you want to dock the vessel or not. Then you can also use it to say before the divers go into the, the water, you should send it to for contaminated water or dangerous hazardous water. You want to see whether there's underwater mines, you can send it a quick survey before you send in the divers. We launching it first time in index 2017 and we are trying to penetrate the military market as well as the fish farming. It's spent across many industries, not just the military. 